Hi, I'm Jared Holbert. Uh, I get to play with a lot of uh, neat equipment here and performance uh, optimization work at Micron. Um, we're doing a, a vSAN demo with, uh, uh, for VMworld that we're going to show. Um, it's going to be a six U or six one U servers um, with an all flash array. We're pretty excited about uh, uh, putting that together and, uh, and showing you how. Um, Dave here is actually playing with some of the equipment here. Hi, Jared. Um, my name is Dave Edwards. I manage the VMware development team for our device drivers on our PCI Express SSD products. And what I'm going to show you here today is a set portion of the equipment that we have on uh, to be putting into the vSAN array, um, where we have an all solid state disk array. This is our M500, uh, where we're using for the main storage. So this is instead of the, uh, the hard drives? Instead of hard drives, that's right. And this is our PCI Express SSD cache, our P4020M, uh, 1.4 terabytes. We're going to be putting two of these into each server to feed 10 uh, solid state M500s uh, for each uh, node on the storage array for a total of 60 terabytes of main storage. This is our Micron 32 gig DRAM DIMMs that we're going to be throwing into these servers. They're going to be 768 gigs per server, and that's going to give us the, store, the RAM storage and the performance we need to be able to do a large VDI deployment or, or a number of different workloads depending on what people want to see. What we have over here is a 40 gig Infini InfiniBand card from Mellanox where this is going to be our storage array network interconnect. And this is going to make sure that we can feed the, the PCI Express cache, the SSDs in a timely manner and keep everything moving along with very high performance. So the, the idea with the all flash uh, back end array here is that the, the cache is going to be capable of, of a 100,000 IOs per second, let's say, and the, the, the back end, if we were to use spinning disks, would be limited to about 2,000 um, or somewhere in that range. So by having the flash, we actually um, should be able to not have the back end limited um, so that the, the, the cache can actually flush it at pretty much as fast as it can fill. Um, so we should have a much higher performing solution um, as we uh, as we put this thing together, that's right. And in our next shoot, we're gonna we're gonna actually show you how to put this equipment into the servers, what we're doing, and then what we go through in the process of setting up the uh, all storage, all solid state storage array. So we're we're actually pretty excited about uh, about this demo yeah. and, and showing it off and um, and kind of showing how it's all put comes together as that's we right. as we put it together and how it can really be done, high performance, reliability, and and the cost. All right. Thank you. Thank you. See you next time. Thank you.